Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. Um Like, Kira, what day is it? Surprise, I literally just put out a video yesterday, and this one, it's, right now, is actually Friday. Tripping up words. Um, I just thought that I would give you all an update. Um, so basically, I'm heading to school right now because I'm a tour guide, and they needed me, and so I live, like, an hour away from my school. Um, so therefore, I had to be up at 5 a.m. this morning. That was really fun, especially considering I don't get to sleep in on the weekends because I work as well. Yay! Um, yeah, I just almost lost my name tag, so that was super fun, but then I found it, so I'm really happy about that. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, yeah. Okay, but like, look at that sunshine, though. Oh my goodness. Hey, y'all. So it's like, it's now Monday. Uh, last time you saw me, it was like Friday and I was about to leave for school. <laughs> Ironically, it's, uh, I'm leaving for school again because I'm gonna go work on the dance with the rest of the captains. Also, I noticed when I was editing last time that this is a really ugly angle for me, but like, deal with it, suckers. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about, like, something that has been, like, pretty big in my life this summer. My hair. Um... So basically, I didn't try to look at the camera there, I looked at the mirror, sorry. Um, basically, I know my hair like kind of looks like a mess sometimes, but it didn't, we're in a process right now. I learned that, so I've always had naturally wavy hair, and a lot of people don't actually know that because I tend to straighten it, and like I've just never known what to do with it because the top layer is always straight and the bottom layer is always wavy, so I've never really known how to deal with it. Um, but this summer, I actually learned that there's, like, specific ways you can wash it and specific types of shampoo, conditioner, and other products that you can put in your hair to, like, make everything look more better than how it was looking before. So I'm kind of in the process of learning how to deal with my naturally wavy hair and how to, like, style it. Um, so, I mean, I just think that's really cool, and I feel like I, I just want to share that with everyone, that I'm learning. I'm learning how to deal with my naturally wavy hair and I'm accepting it, I'm embracing it, but yeah! So it's day three of vlogging and I'm about to head out and go get coffee with one of my friends and I'll try to get some kind of footage but who honestly knows, maybe you'll just get pictures. But uh, yeah, it's this new coffee place in Minneapolis, I'm super pumped, so uh, let's go! <laughs> it's so cute in here! Oh. Get that on video. It's so cute here! <laughs> I can't like the lights. Oh, at least this is struggling. Boring I thought it was gonna be, but... Yeah, it's like cute, and then it's like surprise a dumpster. A dumpster for you. <laughs> this whole area is so cute and loud. Loud. <laughs> Kylie's so excited about how loud it is. I just love that the cities are just like boop, boop, boop right there. Just like oh sorry. my, I cannot. They're like in business suits, they're like going to the office. That's free. <laughs> this is so cute. This bridge. The construction, Kylie, what just happened? Kira just fell. Um, there was like a step down. Like I thought she saw the step, but like she didn't see the step. And I really wish I would have got it on camera, but like I didn't. It was really funny though. You kind of had to be there, but it's okay. Hi, he died, okay? <laughs> yeah. We're at a new place. I can't, what even? This place is so cute. Why is everything out here cute, Kylie? Ugh. Okay. Got just like cold brews and kombucha on tap. Ugh. Ugh. This place is so cute. What is that? That was obnoxious. It's day four of vlogging and I'm making, or I'm trying to make like coconut coffee syrup because I'm obsessed with coconut, and for some reason I can never figure out how to get coconut flavor in my coffee. And the only kind of creamers that stores offer that are coconut flavored have milk in them, and as we know, Kira is sensitive to um, any kind of uh, milk or dairy. So, we're trying to make our own. It looks nasty AF, but like, got some coconut flakes in here, we got some coconut cream in here. 
and we're just gonna let this baby sit and infuse itself for a good chunk of time. I also want to take this opportunity because on Saturday uh, at work at camp we had a uh, sparkler is what we call them but they're actually like just kind of staff parties um, and it was Saturday morning like cartoons themed so um, basically we like had a bunch of food so it was like pancakes and fruit and cereal and that kind of stuff but somebody had to make pancakes and so that was me and Broadway and Broadway got some videos of us dancing around and messing around in the kitchen while making pancakes so right here is that video <laughs> Much is going on. I made coffee. Um, that's like about it. And like, yo, Kira, what have you been up to for the past like Wednesday and Thursday? Can you tell us? Like, surprise. Actually, I can't because like someone in specific, you know who you are, watches this vlog, and they can't know what I've been doing because it's for their birthday specifically. So y'all can get the tea on September twenty third. Oh, yeah. I made coconut coffee, by the by. Um, let me just say, first off, this is super good. Second off, I learned that you can purchase, like, a giant thing of, I think it's, like, Torelli brand, like, coconut syrup. Like, they make vanilla, and, like, that's the stuff that Starbucks uses. But, like, surprise, they have coconut syrup. You guys bet that's gonna be up in my apartment, you know what I'm saying? PSA, like, stay tuned, because, like, Watch out, a few weeks from now, I'm moving in, and we're about to get that, like, whole apartment slash room tour, and, like, it's about to be lit af. Um, but yeah. Okay, so basically, the clip that you're about to see had a lot of sentimental value behind it originally. Originally, my thought was that my boyfriend and I have this huge thing with, like, we always send each other songs that remind us of each other because music is a huge thing in both of our lives, so we're always doing that, so I was like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna film me singing, like, a really nice song to him. That would be so sweet of me. Here is, like, the littlest of a clip of me singing before it got weird. Ooh, I wish I could feel your face. Okay, so, what happened was I started singing, and then I realized that there was a bunch of clothes downstairs, um, and I, basically this happened, and so, this one's for you, Caleb. Smooth talking, so rocking, and he's got everything that a girl wanted, guitar cutie, he plays a groove and I can tell the song, song, the song, I think I'm really falling for his vibe. Butterflies and kisses my name He's got something special He's got something special And when he's talking to me I wanna get all sentimental Yeah, he's got something special He's got something special And I can tell my He could be the one 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 He could be the one, he could be the one. He could be the one! And also, that's how we're gonna end the vlog for today. Hope y'all didn't get too offended by those uh, last few scenes that you just saw. But, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next week. Also, smash that like button if you want me to try to get Caleb in a vlog because I'm like, low-key, next week's about to be lit AF with vlogs, um, or with vlog content. It's about to be lit, so... Smash the like button if you want to see Caleb, but uh, bye!